Hello and welcome back to the channel. As we are grinding the American Destroyers on World of Warships Blitz, today we will be featuring the Wix Tier 3 American Destroyer. Now fully upgraded, the Wix has around 9k health, which is about the same as what the Watake has, the Tier 3 Japanese Destroyer. You are also very nimble, with a 2.7 second rudder shift, as well as being able to turn roughly 9.4 degrees per second, so you are a very nimble destroyer. Currently in the game, as there is only the Japanese destroyer and the American destroyer, I would consider the Wix to be the more powerful of the two. Gun power wise, you both are roughly the same. The Wix has four guns, the Watake has three. Um, so there's nothing really to boast about in gun power wise. You won't be gunning down anything very quickly or very efficiently as well. So what makes the Wix more powerful than the Watake? Well, that's going to stem from the torpedo armament on the ship. You have 12 torpedoes on the ship, which is a ridiculous amount. Six per side, and each torp individually does roughly 2.5k damage. But you do have six torps per side in UX3 launchers, so you can be charging into somebody and be throwing torps out left, right, and center. As we can see here with these two Umakasis that we end up spotting, we turn so that their torpedoes miss. No matter the ship, you never want to be sailing in a straight line because then it makes you so so easy to torp and in things like battleships where you have a very large turning circle and a huge rudder shift, well eating torps is not a pleasant feeling so by consistently changing your course and stuff like that, you will mitigate the damage you end up eating by torpedoes. We do end up landing two torps on the Umukase which is already more than half his HP gone, which is obviously is very very nice as destroyers in this game currently have such a huge impact on the game so getting rid of them or at least chunking them down is very important. Reload time on torpedoes is 42 and a half seconds, I think with the mod, so it's not that bad at all considering you do have 12 torps. At this point we see that there is two ships to our north, and we do have an advantage, so we turn around the island. Now it's very important to come around the island because if we try to turn directly in front of the island that would put us into unnecessary risk of eating fire, so by taking a slightly longer path around this island while we have an advantage, we mitigate that any damage that might have been taken, as we can see one trying to shoot us, but as we have already committed to the turn, they whiff their shots. Of course, in all ships, especially in destroyers where you don't have that much health, avoiding any unnecessary damage is obviously a great thing. As we come across this island, we see two South Carolinas at full HP, but they are only 5.4 kilometers away, so we do pop our engine boost and then we try to rush them. As we rush, keep in mind that we are first, we are nose in towards them so that we have a smaller profile for them to hit, and second of all, we are also firing as that is a bit more free damage to do, and destroyer players have guns, so you know, why not use them? We do end up taking some damage, but that's okay, we do have our heal up, so we pop our heal, and then we first use our left side torps toward the South Carolina to our left, and as we get closer to the second South Carolina, we already start turning hard left and start bringing our right side torpedo tubes to bear. For the South Second Carolina, notice that we do switch to our narrow spread torps, as that is a more concentrated spread of torps, making it hard to dodge, not that you would have dodged them anyway at this close range. Firing torps at long range, it's better to fire out small spreads of torps in a wall of torpedoes instead of widespread torps, because there's a lot larger of a gap for enemy ships to slip through. We do land all 12 of our torpedoes on both South Carolinas. Now at this point, the battle is basically won, so we do turn our ship around and fire more torpedoes at the South Carolina, which we do end up killing. Unfortunately, we were unable to kill off the second South Carolina before the battle ends, but we do end up top of the team with a battle star. Not the most impressive damn numbers at only 44.8k, but it does kind of show off the strengths of the ship and how you should play a destroyer sometimes. We do end up top of the team at 360 experience, which kind of shows it was kind of a comfortable carry. Thank you all for tuning in today, and I do hope you guys have a great rest of the day.